In this video, we're gonna test the compression of each cylinder. And you wanna do this with the bike warmed up. So go for a ride, come back, let it cool a bit so you can handle the spark plugs and then uh, proceed with your testing. So we're gonna start with removing each spark plug. So you can either use an 18 mil socket or the spark plug remover that came with the Your Bike Toolkit. Once you've got the spark plug removed, put it back into the boot and just leave it on the cylinder, let it ground. We're gonna do the same to the other side. Spark plug has been removed and it's just gonna sit grounded on here. The compression tester is uh, just sitting right there. I'm gonna be holding it down while I crank the engine. With your compression tester in one of the cylinders, turn your throttle to full open and crank the engine over. Throttle is in the open position. We're gonna crank it until it, the needle stops moving. That's what our reading is for this side. Let's go see the other side. Now, because this is a push-in type compressor, it doesn't thread in. The reading might be slightly off, so I'm gonna uh, see what the other side says. Spark plugs grounded. Compression tester is in the spark plug hole. Throttle open full. Do this again, it slipped on me. Compression tester in the spark plug hole. Throttle open wide. With the starter. Okay, I'm happy with that. So now just, uh, it's a good idea to write these down and next time you test it, compare it to this. Just a few things to keep in mind when you're doing your compression testing. So first you want to make sure your valve clearance has been set first. So if you haven't done that, do that before you do your testing. Just give yourself a proper reading. Next, we're going to have the bike warmed up. So you're going to warm up the bike do your, and uh, do your compression testing. Make sure you have your, put your spark plugs sitting on the engine block and that's to ground it. That's to protect your coil from getting damaged. And you're going to do the throttle wide open as you press the starter down. And what that does is you're testing compression so you want as much air getting in there as possible. So that's, that's why we do that. And about the compression testing itself, it's not so much the reading, it's more so the balance of the reading between the two cylinders. So you wanna have them within 10% of each other. If there's a significant difference between the two, then what you can do is put some oil, just like a few, just a little, um, few drops, like a spoonful or whatever. Just pour some in the cylinder, do your compression testing. If the reading changes, Dramatically, if it goes up a lot, then you know you've got a problem with your um, your rings, or your seals, or whatever. If the reading doesn't change, then you've got a problem with the actual valves. So this is a good way to, to check for that kind of stuff is to do a compression test. Um, a happy reading on here is at 160 psi, 145 being low and 174 being high. I was around, um, I think it was just around 130 psi. And I'm fine with that. And that's because uh, this is a push style compression tester. The screw part doesn't fit. But anyways, and because of that, when I'm testing it, I can feel the, the air blowing back up against my hand. So I know I'm losing some there. So, but the readings are within 10% of each other. So I'm happy with that. That's all there is to it. That's compression testing done on the Yamaha V-Star 650 Custom. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Take care, later days.